Hello everyone, in this uh, video I am just going to discuss about priority queue. Priority queue is nothing but it is an extension to the queue data structure. Um, the, 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 main, the difference between the normal queue and the priority queue over here is uh, in the priority queue each element is assigned a priority whereas in queue you won't be assigning any priority in the normal queue for each and every data element. So the only difference is we are just going to assign a priority to each data element. So only the priority of the element alone will be used to determine the order in which the elements should be processed. So generally since we are assigning the priority so the general rule here in the priority queues an element with a higher priority is processed first before an element with the lower priority. And second thing is, suppose if there are two elements with the same priority means it will be processed based on first come first serve basis. Since Q is first come first, uh, first serve data structure, if they, both the, uh, more than one elements uh, under the same priority which comes with the same priority means will be just processing on uh, first come first serve basis, the element which appeared first will be processed first. So whatever the operation you want to perform, whatever, uh, suppose if you want to process the element, whatever the thing you want to do in the priority queue, only based on the priority only the elements can be processed. Suppose if you want to perform the deletion operation means the element which is having highest high priority that can be deleted first. So based on the priority only everything can be done over here in the priority queue. So the general applications of priority queue over here is the very the one is CPU scheduling and the second one where the priority queue can be applied is graph algorithm such as minimum scanning to and, uh, spanning to and registers algorithm and also uh, uh, this priority queue can be applied on all the queue applications where the priority is involved. So when it comes to implementation, there are two ways to implement a priority queue. Either you can use sorted list to store the elements or else we can use the unsorted list to store the element. Suppose if you are maintaining the sorted list to store the element means because the, we are just going to sort based on the priority. Everything we are just going to do over here only based on the priority. So based on the priority, if you want to use the sorted list to, um, to store the elements means the insertion will take big O of n time. Why? Because since it is in sorted order, suppose if you want to insert any of the new data. Uh, node inside new data element inside the existing list means you have to identify the right place why because we have just arranged all the elements in the sorted order so if you want to insert any new data element you have to identify the element you have to identify the node which is having lesser priority than this and then next to that you will be inserting the new node so in that case insertion becomes uh, um, little difficult it is going to take big O of n time and when it comes to deletion it is going to take only big O of one time why because it is already sorted so the element which is having higher priority will be placed first so directly you can perform deletion at the beginning and it can be deleted. So when it comes to insertion it is going to take big O of n time and when it comes to deletion it is going to take big O of 1 time under the sorted list. Suppose if you are maintaining unsorted list to store the element means insertion will take big O of 1 time and deletion will take big O of n time. Why? Because it is unsorted. So when it comes to insertion you can perform insertion at any end. So in that case it is very easy simply it, it is going to take only big O of 1 time because it is not sorted. If it is sorted deletion will take big O of n time. Sorry if it is unsorted sorted deletion will take big O of n time. Why? Because since it is unsorted, if you want to perform deletion operation means you are supposed to identify the element which is having higher priority. So in that case you have to perform searching over there. So for that it has to take, it will take big O of n time. So you can follow anything, either you can maintain sorted list or unsorted list. So the example which I am going to discuss over here is sorted list. So when it comes to sorted, insertion will take big O of n time and deletion will take only big O of 1 time. So as I told you before, the main difference between the normal queue and the priority queue over here is each and every element will be assigned with the priority. So when you take normal queue, if you, suppose you are implementing the queue using linked list means, sorry, you will be maintaining only two um, each node will be maintaining only two nodes in the normal queue one node will be just using for storing the data and another node will be just using for storing the addresses of the next node in the normal queue when it comes to priority queue one, one more field we are just going to add to store the priority of the element so totally each node will be having three nodes over here the first node will be storing the data the second node will be storing the priority and the third node will be storing the address of the next node so when you create the node you have to create the node with three fields first in field for data second field for priority and the third field for storing the address of the next node and this is the example the sorted list example i have given over here now we are just going to discuss we are just going to discuss the pseudocode for performing the insertion operation and the deletion operation will be discussed in the next video so now when it comes to insertion for example this is my new node i just want to insert this new node in the list this is the list available so inside this i just want to insert the new node and this is my new node my value is 30 inside the new node in the place of data field i'm just going to store the value 30 and the priority is going to be 4 so i'm just using these two lines i'm just writing the value in the place of this is my new node 
right so in the place of new nodes next if i have written the val my val is my value val is nothing but the value my val is what 30 here so i have just inserted in the place of new nodes next if i have inserted the value that is 30 in the place of new nodes priority field i have inserted the pri price priority of the new node that is 4 so i have written the value 4 with the help of this line new nodes priority field should have pri my pri value is 4 now where i can insert this in the place of new nodes data field and the priority field i have written the value now where this can be inserted because when it comes to insertion in the sorted list it is going to take big of n time why because we have to identify the right place to insert this new node why because my list is in the sorted order right so the condition should be suppose okay fine this is my new node right so suppose when you insert the element already there may be the elements in the list or else ele the, the list may be empty right so the first you have to check whether the list is empty there the node which you are going to insert is going to be the very first node or else somewhere in the middle or else some, already some elements are there somewhere in the middle you are just going to place the node or not you have to check so the very first condition which I am going to write is suppose if the list is empty or else the node which I am going to insert is is going to be the very first node in that case what you are supposed to do i am just going to tell you now suppose if start is equal to equal to null in that case you just imagine that okay i'll give the example so initially your list is empty you just imagine that the node which you are going to insert in the list the list is initially empty the node which you are going to insert is going to be the very first node so in that case my start will be initially null why because my list is empty right so in that case if your list is empty means the node which you insert that is going to be the very first node right so in that case what we are supposed to do means in the place of new nodes next so after inserting this there should be null over here right so to store null over here shall we write like this new node next should have start because in my start is equal to null after inserting the new node in the place of new nodes next field we are supposed to store the null null here so and already under the start there was null so by if you write like this new nodes next equal to start means the null will come over here in the place of new nodes next field and now what should be the start because i have inserted one new node inside so under the start variable what i am supposed to store new node i have to store because this is the very first node already element is there inside the node only one node is there so my start node is going to be the new node only so i'm just going to write start equal to new node if the element if the list is empty the element which you want to insert is going to be the very first node means these two lines are applicable and also one more thing suppose uh, there is already a list like this i'll make it here already there are two nodes this is start priority is 3 and the value is 80 priority is 4 and value is 99 node AA node BB this will have that just BB under the start I am just going to store the value AA now I just want to insert new node now I just want to insert new node this one value 50 and the priority is 2 right so with the help of new nodes data field i'm just going to write the value here that is 50 uh, new nodes priority field to prime my pri is here 2 now we need to identify the right place to insert this new node so in this case we are not going to insert this new node uh, somewhere in the middle because when you check when you check it manually we are just going to we are supposed to place this node in the very first field why because it is having the priority 2 if it is 2 we are supposed to place it in the first place so for this also this condition is applicable so these uh, these two lines are applicable over here so how the condition can be given here if pri less than start priority these two lines are applicable with the help of these two lines we can do the changes so when you check whether your start is equal to equal to null no my start is not equal to null or pri less than starts priority this is your start your start priority is what 3 what is your pri is 2 
so if it is less than start priority you can implement you can use these two lines to change the addresses so new nodes next should be start because we are supposed to place this new node over here right so what is the in the place of new nodes next field what we are supposed to place start we are supposed to place so what is our start under the start the node aa is there so we are writing the node aa so after writing the value aa these two nodes will be connected right so with the help of new nodes next uh, in this line i am written i am writing that in the place of new node next field i am writing the start address where under the start i have stored the value aa so i am storing the address a in the place of new nodes next field now what should be the start so after inserting this value this node will become the very first node right so under the start i am just going to store the address of the new node so start equal to new node will work over here right so this condition is applicable only when your l is suppose if the element which you want to insert is going to act as the very first element means you can use this phase this condition you can use it and with the help of these two lines you can make the modifications and you can place the new node in the right place suppose if you the element which you want to insert based on the priority it is falling somewhere in the middle in that case you need to go to the else part else what we are supposed to do means you have to identify the right place by comparing the priority priority of the new node along with the existing nodes right so we are just going to use one pointer and i'm just going to place the pointer at start first pointer equal to start now the condition should be till when we can we can keep on searching it we can compare the priorities along with the new elements till the last element so how will you uh, to identify to to identify that whether we have reached the last element or not what should be the condition the condition should be while pointer until pointer next is not equal to null we can keep on traversing we can increment the pointer one by one and we can check and also what should be the condition pointers next priority is less than or equal to pri pri is nothing but your new nodes priority is what pri <coughs> right so now initially we are placing the pointer at the beginning right pointer equal to start yes i have placed the pointer pointers next not equal to null i am just checking yes pointers next is not equal to null and pointer next priority is less than or equal to priority what is my pointer next pointer next is bb so check bb's priority is less than or equal to pri so bb's priority is what 2 right my pri is 4 right so my pri is 4 bb's priority is pointer's next priority is 2 when i compare 2 and 4 yes 2 is less than 4 if so we can go to the next line it means what we can increment the pointer if it satisfies the condition you can increment the pointer that is pointer equal to pointer next now after this line my pointer will come here right i have incremented the pointer now pointer will be pointing the node bb right again you check whether pointer's next is not equal to null yes my pointer's next is not equal to null only and the another condition is pointer's next priority what is pointer's next priority that is 3 pointer's next priority is 3 and my pri is what 4 my new node's priority is 4 you are just going to check whether 3 is less than or equal to 4 or not you have to check yes 3 is less than 4 only so i can increment the pointer pointer equal to pointer next so now my pointer will be pointing this right again you check pointer's next next is not equal to null yes pointer's next is not equal to null and pointer next priority you have to check pointer's next priority is 5 here and my new node's priority is what 4 5 is less than 4 no 5 is not less than 4 if so we can't go to the next line it can't go inside the loop in that case it has to come out of the while loop and what it is supposed to do means <coughs> new nodes in the place of new nodes next field we are just going to write pointers next value so what in the place of new nodes next field my pointer is pointing what pointing the node cc my pointers next is what dd so i'm just going to write dd in the place of new nodes next field after writing dd these two nodes will get connection 
right and now again these two nodes we are supposed to connect it now so to connect these node what we are supposed to do so when you write the if you write the address of new node in the place of cc's next field these two nodes will get connected right so what you have to do in the place of i am just going to write in the place of pointers next field what we are supposed to write the address new node we are supposed to write right so in the place of pointers next field i am just going to write the address of the new node right so now after writing the new node in this place these two nodes again will get connection and automatically this will get disconnected right yes so we made a connection properly and finally it will come to an end this is how we are supposed to perform the insertion operation in the priority queue suppose the element which you want to insert based on the priority suppose if it falls at the first means you are supposed to follow this phase suppose the element which you want to insert based on the priority it is falling in the middle means you are supposed to follow this part thank you so the deletion operation will be discussed in the next video